All right, just want to talk about the latest Google Things to Do product that came out actually um, a few days ago now. So this is the Google um, Google Business Profile booking module or booking options. And it was just released, um, like I say, a few days ago. It's live across all tour operators. So everyone has access to this now. You just need to get it set up correctly. So we're looking at the screen now. This is uh, Skyline Sightseeing in San Francisco. And it's just under the Google Business Profile or that used to be called Google My Business. And then there's this section here. So it's showing three products by default. And then you can click to open and it shows up to 10 products for a uh, tour operator. Um, and then below that, potentially are OTAs or other people selling your products. So in this example right here, it's Travelku, and they have, looks like, uh, 10 products as well. And Chris, have we seen more than one OTA on a listing yet? Not on a single listing. We've seen more than one OTA taking part in this, but not on the same listing. So right. We've seen travel coup, we've seen tickets, we've seen trip shock, haven't yeah. seen buy a tour or get your guide or anything yet, but assume they're working on it, I assume. Yeah, and then so this is available to you as a tour operator right now. Uh, you need to work with a connected partner. Uh, Magpie uh, is a connected partner. We do we do this for you. We've got most of our clients active on this so far. The ones that we can't get active yet, uh, there's a there's a few Things you need to think about, you need to be tour operator. You need a fixed place of business. Um, what's the other type called, Chris? Uh, like if you define a service area, so some people will say that they are, you know, the Paris, you know, they do walking tours in Paris, but they don't have a fixed location. That, unfortunately, is not eligible for this. Yeah, so it needs a fixed, uh, we call it a place ID. And then you need to also disable your, there's an old products module that was part of Google My Business. You need to disable that for this to show up. It won't show up both. Um, and aside from that, I think we've had everybody show up so far, Chris. And, and the other thing is to be part of Google Things to Do in general, your products need to be bookable on your website. The prices need yeah. to match everything else. But for this new part, those are, those are the only things and you should be live immediately. Uh, we just had a client, which is um, Walks. We we didn't know about this class with the old products. They just updated theirs um, today. And within five minutes, these are now showing up. So it's available to everyone. Yeah, so you, you'd have to remove, you, you you know yourself. If you see, if you know you've got products set up on your Google business profile, you'll likely know it. Um, it just causes a conflict. So you'd need to delete those and, we're actually going to put an article on, on how to do that. So, yeah. So, other um, reasons you might not show up. Maybe, maybe you're connected to a third party. Um, a lot of res techs have an integration. Um, they might not be set up correctly. They might not have your address set up correctly. Um, I think the only res tech we've seen is Fair Harbor so far. Is that right, Chris? Yeah. So only yeah. only Fair Harbor has clients showing up. Um, everybody should be. Uh, so jump on this as soon as you can. Yeah, the ones I've seen, the ones I've seen from Fair Harbor that you know, maybe a couple of products here and there when they can have up to ten. As I've seen it on some big operators where, you know, they they do have up to ten products, but only maybe one or two are displaying from Fair Harbor. So, and also that link goes to directly to the Restex white label landing page. Yeah. It doesn't go to your your landing page, which you want to get the traffic. You also want the opportunity to try and upsell or let them have a look at what else you've got to offer. And you don't get that um, with a white label landing page. Yeah, I don't I don't like those white label. I, I get why they do it, but I don't think it's beneficial for operators. Um, last thing, languages. Um, you can also upload your products. You have been able to for a while to, to, yep. to things to do in multiple languages. So this is our... Our Skyline Sightseeing one in English, we have, I don't know, maybe 14 products listed, but we only have 10 displayed. Uh, and then this is, we've uploaded a couple of products in Spanish. So you only see the products that you've submitted in, in that language. So if you don't submit any in different languages and you don't have to, your landing page doesn't have to be in that language. It, you just have to submit to Google in that language. 
which we offer. And we have some cool uh, chat GPT tools to help you do that. Um, yeah, so it'll only display the products that you upload in that language. So we have a couple here in Spanish. We have one here in French. We have a couple here in German. And then you can see below Travel Coup is actually submitting products, not only in English, but in German. So if we weren't submitting anything in German, it would only be Travel Coup's listings that would be displayed here. So it's something to think about if you get um, customers from you know abroad who are searching Google in a language other than English, your products won't display to them unless you're submitting Google things to do products in that language. Um, Translating all that stuff, that sounds like a pain, doesn't it? How would you translate all those products quickly? Well, like I said, we have chat GPT tools. Oh, you can, we do? You can do that, yeah. I think, just, I, uh, um, I think I saw that earlier. I think it was two clicks to tran to translate the whole product into German. Is that sound about right? I think it was, yeah. You select it, maybe three clicks. Like you have to click on the drop down, click the thing, and then click submit. So. Yeah, Chris, you're turning it into a sales pitch now. Anyway. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's it for now. Uh, this is an important change. There are some more changes coming, it looks like, to ads as well. They're going to expand the ads. The ads in general, the carousel ads have been expanding rapidly this year. They're getting tons of traffic now. Most operators should also be participating in the ads, which are very inexpensive right now um, compared to regular Google ads. So that's all for now. Um, we'll report more when we have it. Thanks for listening.